and gentlemen, I'm here joined with, once again, Maya the Great for the first time this season. First time. <laughs> highly requested, highly requested. And uh, we're going to talk today just about game one, uh, Lakers, on the Lakers side of things. Specifically, you you had some questions for me about Westbrook. After the game, you, or literally, I think the game was still going, you had to call me. Yeah. I mean, I, right, literally, I think it was like two, it was like three minutes left. You can go ahead and ask all your questions. I just I just want to know your thoughts. Like, just just tell me what like. Well, first of all, let's get this out of the way right now. It is only game one, but for some odd reason, Frank Vogel got exposed in that first game. Let me tell you what. I don't know who told him to put Russ and Rondo on the court at the same time with Melo. That was dumb. But Russ and Rondo together at any point in time is just like a blizzard because none of them can shoot. Number two, I don't know. What kind of offensive sets y'all running? You feel me? But Russ posting up for th- I mean, uh, spotting up for threes is just not cutting it. So I didn't want to know from a Lakers fan's perspective right, right, right. what what went wrong and, and what do you think you have to do to make it work? Oh well, first of all, I think it's kind of crazy some of the backlash that that Russell is getting. All right, if you know me, you know me and Russell like this. Oh. I'm his number one fan. So well, what you don't know about Russ is that. He really is, he takes a while to adjust, okay? This is game one. He usually takes about, and this is what I always said, this is what I've said from the beginning. And I said this actually before the, the season. I said, he's going to take about 15 games to get a, a, a acclimated. You know what I mean? He's going to take about 15 games because what y'all don't know is even back uh, in Houston, you know, they used to call him winter, winter, um, Winter Westbrook. You no, know, he started going off around, around January. He got the, the nickname Winter Westbrook because he was going off. So the thing is, is Winter that Westbrook or Winter? Winter Westbrook. Winter Westbrook. He's going off in the winter. It's winter time. He, okay. he was just crazy. And he. Did you know that? I know that. No, I know. Yeah, because he started coming around during the winter time. You know what I mean? So, so we just gotta be patient with him. I think it's a lot of criticism. He has to figure people out. You know, another thing that I'm saying is, you know, in in OKC, he like. In OKC or uh, where else was he? Houston? Houston and Washington. Yeah, he only had to figure out like one other star. You know what I mean? Type number two, he's having to learn two different stars. The other Mm -hmm. times, you know, Paul George and and Carmella had to learn him. Okay. And KD, they, him and KD learn each other. Here, he has to figure out a lot. And so, like, let's be patient with him. You know, I don't like when I see people get online rushing him and oh you doing any bashing him it just doesn't sit with me personally just because i would never i would never do that i think he's a quick i think he's a really quick learner so what you're saying is that he is a slow learner he's i wouldn't say he's a slow learner because he has he has a great don't do that he has a great you guys heard it here first ladies and gentlemen right from russell westbrook's camp slow learner (laughs) he's a slow learner now um yeah that's tough now you know what I mean? Especially, that's one thing about him. I think he's a really quick learner. <laughs> quick learner. So I think he's going to he's gonna um, just get to it. And all we have to do is, you're right about Frank. Now, Frank, now Frank, I can't, I can't endorse you, Frank. I think, Frank, you, you might be a little, you might be a slow learner. Frank. And, and that's with all due respect, but he, 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 he you know, he's showing some signs of, of early onset. He was just testing random stuff. I feel like he'd just be rolling the dice with people's names on them, throwing them and like, okay, we're going to put them on. Like, you're not thinking. So I don't know. I think honestly, most of this, most of this falls on on, um, Vogel. However, we do forget we were missing four, four key people. So that's four people that space, space. And we knew, we know, you know, we need it. We need space. So I feel like I'm not. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I still have. I still have faith. But um, this as, as a as a Clipper fan and as a fellow as an NBA fan, I'm. I wouldn't panic yet. But I will say it's definitely going to take some time. Definitely, for yeah. certain, it's definitely going to take some time. Now, my only concern is, I feel as though we're still having this conversation by All Star break. That's a problem. Hey, yeah, no, no, no. If we're having this combo All Star break. It's a problem. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. no <laughs> it's no. a problem. Yeah. Boss, I, I, I believe y'all will get it together. My personal. I believe y'all get it together. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, too. I know I, 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 some people give him flack, but like I said, I'm his number one in, in his corner. You know what I mean? There's no one more Russell Westbrook 
fan fanatic than me. So when people were talking about his pregame fit, you know what I mean? They were saying Scooby-Doo, they were saying stuff like that. He spent, to me, it looked like he spent more time on his pregame fit than um, <gasps> going over the playbook. It looked like to me he came dressed ready for New York Fashion Week <gasps> rather than the Los Angeles Lakers. I was thinking time. more so he was dressed like he was about to watch a marathon Scooby-Doo. He was giving Daphne. Um, he was giving Scooby-Doo snacks. He was definitely oh, giving whoa. Scooby snacks. He was giving not much real, like paying attention to the game. And I think that's disgusting. You know what I mean? Can we just focus on his encore? I would never say something like that. Where they were talking about how like, he doesn't have a shot yet. I'm like, hey, we're, just be patient. How do you feel that he hasn't developed his jump shot? Like with all the years he's had, how do you feel one word? Patient. Two words starting with P. That's another sign of just a little slight delusion. You know, if I could choose one word, I would probably say just be patient. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, cause I'm just, I'm in this corner. You know what I mean? I'm in this corner. So with that being said, I appreciate you though for, uh, for coming on. I know you try to grill Thanks. me a little bit, but we agree. We basically yeah, we agree. Yeah, no disagreements in this one. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, when you guys play, you know, Tonight. yeah, we'll end up probably disagreeing. Yeah, just a little bit. So we'll look forward to that. But thank you for uh, coming on anyways. Y'all see me soon, man. Y'all will see me soon. All right, y'all. Catch y'all again. <laughs>